Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing the latest and easiest method to root your Google Nexus 4 uh, Android device. This is this is so easy and uh, it shouldn't take too much time at all. First of all, you're going to need to make sure you turn on USB debugging. So go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about phone, and then go ahead and quickly tap on your build number. Just keep tapping on it until it says you are now a developer. Once you do that, go ahead and hit back and then you'll see developer options have shown up. They will be on by default. Make sure you check USB debugging. So go ahead and check it, hit OK, and we are ready to go. So once USB debugging has been checked, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Once you click on the link in the description of the video, it will take you to this website. Big shout out and thanks to Wug Fresh. I wanna give a huge thanks for him for putting this toolkit together. But go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, and you will see download right here. Click on this direct download, click on it, download it. It will be an EXE file. Once that downloads, it'll take a little bit of time to download, so be patient with it. But once that downloads, go ahead and go into your downloads folder or just click on the EXE file and you want to open it. So just go ahead and hit run once that security warning comes up. All right, and once this comes up, you want to choose a destination folder to install the toolkit. Make note of it. You'll see mine is Program Files x86 Wug Fresh Development. So just kind of make note that it's in the Program Files uh, folder there and then you can just go ahead and hit install and then allow it user account control hit yes and then it'll run through the installation process put all of those files in the necessary folder in that lug fresh development folder so the installation process will take a bit of time just be patient with it I'll be back once it is done okay so now you'll see a prompt to select your specific model and the device you have so go ahead and press this drop down menu we're going to select Nexus 4 and then select the Android build you are currently running. I am currently on 4.2.1, which is the latest. So you can select that. Um, just go ahead and select whatever build variant you are on yourself and then hit apply. Um, and now it says to enable USB debugging. We've already done that, so you can just hit OK. And here it is. So here is our uh, root toolkit. This is what's going to allow us to do all the basic stuff before we go into it. I would like you guys to, don't even plug in your device yet, go ahead and go to full driver installation. Once that shows up, what you guys are going to need to do is skip to step two. So select skip step two and then driver solution one, press PDA net drivers. Select that and then uh, just hit OK to continue. And then it says I already have an existing version of PDA net on my PC, so I'm not going to run through this. But if you do not, uh, you'll see it uh, is going to bring up other various commands. This lets steps you uh, take steps towards installing them and lets you know how to do it. If you have issues following these steps or installing the PDA Net drivers, just let me know. Or leave a comment. I can help you out. I'm going to cancel it just because I already have them installed. But make sure you do have the drivers installed on your PC. Once you have them installed, you can plug your Nexus 4 into your PC. Okay, so I've now plugged my Nexus 4 into my PC. You should see some various screens that do pop up. You can exit out of the autoplay. You also see that Android ADB interface did get installed, so make sure this driver software installation does get uh, installed on your PC. So there we go. Uh, once plugged in, we're ready to go. Um, I do want to make a note before we do start this that since we are rooting our device, we need to unlock the bootloader, and unlocking our bootloader is going to fully wipe our Nexus 4. So uh, internal storage and phone data is all going to be wiped. Everything will be wiped. So make sure you do a full backup. You can actually use this toolkit to back everything up if you would like to use it. Otherwise, you can do it yourself manually. Uh, just plug your device in to back up your internal storage, back everything up into a folder. If you'd like to, uh, again, you have other various tools to back everything up. This one is a very quick and easy one. Uh, but now, uh, once you have everything backed up and you're ready to do a full factory reset and unlock your bootloader, go ahead and press this unlock button here. Once you uh, go ahead and press that, it's warning you that everything is going to be completely wiped. It's going to be out of the box, factory reset. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to check ADB status. And again, uh, it lets us know the device is connected. It should reboot our device into the bootloader, which it's going to type in a command, ADB reboot bootloader, which I can do through a command prompt, but this does it automatically for us. So it takes us to this start screen. And then it should actually uh, check, it, we're actually going to need to do some manual steps to unlock our bootloader. So go ahead and it says device connected. And now uh, you'll see we are on this unlock bootloader screen. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. 
Okay, so once on this unlock bootloader screen, use the volume up and down buttons to navigate between yes and no. Highlight yes and then press the power button to select it. This is going to fully unlock our bootloader and fully do a factory reset. Once done, it's actually going to reboot our phone. You'll see a little padlock with an unlock icon that lets us know our bootloader is unlocked. Uh, looks like it is taking us into stock Android recovery. If uh, it actually could potentially, it, it's going to reboot once we go to this screen, but it could potentially put our phone into a boot loop and it won't boot up. If mine does that for any reason, I'll actually show you guys how to get rid of, uh, to actually get it to boot up. Otherwise, I'll post a link to some directions on getting it booted up. So uh, it should take us to our Nexus boot animation now. All right, so it took us to the start screen. It booted up just fine. Uh, there is a little bug with 4.2 with unlocking the bootloader. You might get stuck in a boot loop. I'll post some uh, a link in the description for some directions on how to get it uh, fully back to uh, back to booting up. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and hit start. You want to skip through all this screen. I'm not going to insert a SIM card. I'm not going to connect to Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip anyways and continue through. And then once done with this, I actually will be able to, what we're going to need to do is put it, uh, put USB debugging back on. So go ahead and go back into our settings, scroll all the way down, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Scroll all the way down, go to about phone, quickly tap on that build number, just keep tapping on it until it says you are now a developer. Go back into developer options, whoops, sorry about that. And then go ahead and check USB debugging and hit OK. So now once USB debugging is checked, we can actually go back to our PC. All right, and once back to our PC, you'll see this autoplay. You can exit out of it, no big deal. Um, but now you can just hit OK on the toolkit, um, and we are done unlocking our bootloader now. So our bootloader is done. Uh, we can go ahead and now root the device. You'll see there's an option to uh, root down here. There's a root button, and also to install a custom recovery if you only want root access, don't check this custom recovery box. If you want a custom recovery to flash ROMs, etc., you can check this box. If in the future you want to just root and then come back and install a custom recovery, you can just run this toolkit again and press the root button with custom recovery checked. So we can go ahead and uh, press the root button. And now it says you currently have no Torp recovery for this build. We need to download a file. Just hit OK. And now what it's going to do is uh, go ahead and download a file. It'll actually download a few files, so let it run through. All right, so download is complete. It'll actually prompt us to download another file, a modified boot image. Just go ahead and hit OK. And it actually could prompt you to download a super SU file. If it prompts you to download that, hit OK as well. Let them download. All right, so the file is done downloading. Again, if it prompts you to download Super SU as well. Make sure you download that. I already have it on here, so it, might, it didn't prompt me. Uh, this is just letting you know that what it's going to do and that you need an unlocked bootloader for this to work. We've already unlocked it. Now just hit OK to continue. It's going to check our ADB status, and then it should reboot our Nexus 4 into the bootloader once again. So it says rebooting our, rebooting our device into bootloader mode. And there we go. brings up our bootloader. You'll see the start screen right there. And then it's going to run through and flash some fast boot commands to our device. This is actually something that you can do via command prompts, but it's doing it automatically for you. It's going to boot the modified boot image to enable running privileged commands. Then it's going to install our custom recovery, and then it's going to root our device, and we'll be done. So it's waiting for a device to finish booting back up. Back up. It's going to fully boot up, and then I think it should go back into the bootloader once again. All right, so it's booted on up, and then it says pushing root files to the to the device. So our phone is now getting rooted, and then it's going to go back into our bootloader. And we are now back into our bootloader. It should flash our custom recovery. It might actually take us into our custom recovery. Uh, it might not do that, again, if you didn't check that custom recovery box. But here we go, flashing our custom recovery, and I believe it might take us into that twerp recovery. You'll see it says booting twerp temporarily. You'll see a team win screen on your phone right there. And it uh, looks like it is just running through installing our custom recovery. Now it's rooting our phone. And then it's rebooting our device as well. All right, so our device is just finishing booting back up. You'll see it uh, is starting our apps, bringing us back to the screen. And now we should be just about done, actually. I think that's all the steps we need to take. 
at least through our process here. So we are done here. Now we can go back to our phone. Okay, now we are actually done with our PC commands. We can unplug our device if you want to. I'm not going to. But anyways, now we can go into our app drawer. And once we are in our app drawer, what you want to do is find the Super SU application right here. Select it. And then uh, if it for any reason prompts you to update binaries, do so. Uh, but you'll see mine isn't, so we should be fully rooted now. Go back into our app drawer and you'll see an application called BusyBox Free. Select that and then grant it super user permissions. Once it opens up, it does take a little bit of time. You'll see it brings it up, grant it. This lets us know we do have super user permissions here, which is a great sign. Exit out of this welcome screen and just hit the install button. You can exit out of that, hit the install button, and it's gonna go ahead and fully install BusyBox on our Nexus 4. This does take a little bit of time, so just be patient with that install process. Okay, so BusyBox is done installing. You can just escape out of the box and then just actually back out of the program itself. So we are now done. If you have just rooted the device and not installed a custom recovery, you are done. You're fully rooted. You're good to go. Uh, but if you did install a custom recovery, we can actually, I'm going to show you guys how to get into that custom recovery and also walk you through it and also show you how to make an Android backup, which is something you're going to want to do. So I'm actually going to unplug my device and then go ahead and power off my Nexus 4 because we want to get back into the bootloader and then get into our custom recovery. All right, once our device is fully powered off to get into our custom recovery, press and hold volume down, volume up, and power button all at the same time. Keep them held down until it takes us into our bootloader here. Now press volume down button once, twice, until it says recovery mode up at the top. Press the power button to select it. You'll see it does have that unlock padlock down there, of course. And then it should take us into our twerp recovery. You'll see Team Win here. And here it is. It's a fully touch screen recovery. You might be familiar with Clockwork Mod. It does the same things pretty much, uh, but it is fully touch screen. And here we go. So now, before we go into anything, I do want to recommend you make a full Android backup. So go to the backup button, set a backup name. You can just name it first. Looks like swipe doesn't work in here. So just go ahead and name it first. And then hit the hit go on the keyboard. And now once we have it named first, go ahead and hit swipe to backup. It's going to go ahead and make a full Android backup. It's going to back up our current system. If for any reason anything happens, something goes wrong, we can go back into our TURP recovery. Hit the restore button and then restore this backup we're making. And it will take us back to right where we were out of the box. So uh, this will take a little bit of time. Be patient with it. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so now it's done. You can actually hit reboot system if you want, but I'm gonna hit back, hit back again and show you guys some steps. You'll see an install button. This will take us uh, to install a zip file such as a ROM or a modification. There's also a wipe menu where you can do a factory reset, wipe, wipe cache, Dalvik cache system. So that's uh, the menus that you'll use when installing ROMs essentially. Uh, you can mount things, you have various settings, but that's about it. All I wanted to cover, just go ahead and hit reboot system and that would be all. So that is how you fully root your Nexus 4 uh, phone, and that was just a full uh, walkthrough of the custom recovery twerp. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. I'll be doing uh, videos on how to install uh, ROMs and various things on the Nexus 4, so be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.